If you're still not using textures in your edits, you're missing out. So today I will show you step by step how you can make the best texture ever in After Effects. To start, I'm going to create my text and use the Arial Bold font with these settings. Once we have our text ready, the first effect we want to add is called Fractal Noise. So go to Effects and Presets and search for Fractal Noise. Select the normal one and drag it on your text layer. And instead of the effect controls, we want to put the contrast from 100 up to 250 and the brightness from 0 down to negative 20. What I also like to do is open up the transform set and just increase the scale by a tiny bit to 130 and then the complexity I'm gonna put from 6 to 10. Don't worry we will also change the color but what I want to do first is make sure that my texture moves. As you can see right now it's just in one place so the dark and bright areas are not mixing up at all. To change that I'm gonna hold down my alt key and left click onto the evolution value. As you can see this will bring up an expression and we're just gonna replace this window with time asterisk and then 100. Now you can see our texture is slowly moving instead of the text. One more effect before we actually change the color is gonna be S underscore or emboss shiny which when we drag it on top of our text layer as you can see will make it look a lot more bubbly and by the way if you can't find this effect inside of your after effects join my discord server for the settings we want to start by putting the brightness from 1 up to 1.4 and then because i already know that i want my texture to be in red i'm going to select the light color and just tint it in a little bit of red this will overall just make it look a bit smoother when we change the color later on press on to ok and then i also like to increase the bump scale from 1 up to 1.2 lastly to make the texture a bit more refined i'm going to put the bump smooth from 2.4 down to 0.5 which as you can see will just make the individual spots way more visible. Now for the most important part we're going to change the color. For that go to effects and presets and search for CC toner. Again drag it on top of your text layer and also keep in mind that the order in which you apply these effects is very important. If you don't exactly follow this it might actually mess up your texture. Instead of the CC toner effect the first thing I like to change is the midtones and you want to make sure that for this you select the primary color that you want your text to be in. In my case it's going to be a bright red. Press on to OK and because I want the contrast between my colors to be less I'm also going to tint my highlights in a bit of a brighter red, not all the way to the right, but somewhat here. And then for my shadows, I'm going to put it to a very dark red so it doesn't look so black and white. Obviously, you can customize this to any color you want. To add some more overall depth and texture, next up, we're going to add the BCC raised texture effect. And again, make sure you only apply this after the CC toner effect. As you can see, this effect will create these rays of our text. But because I want the center of my text to be on this look better, I'm going to take this light source right here and drag it in the middle of my words right here. For the settings, I'm going to start by putting the texture scale down to four. Then the intensity, I want to put to 75 and the race length down to 5. Very important is that you match the color of the race up with the color of your text. The standard this effect comes in is as you can see in the gradient this kind of orange yellowish tint and because my text is red that wouldn't fit which means I'm going to click onto this current and load the red preset at the very bottom right here. But depending on which color your texture is in you can go for a different preset as well. Now that our texture is on top of our entire text we want to isolate it because in my case I only want the bottom row to have this texture and not the top one. Doing this might seem a bit confusing because once you apply the effects to your text layer, they're going to be applied to your entire text. But I'm going to show you my secret trick on how I like doing it, which saves me a lot of time. For that, we want to make sure we applied our animations, so the fade up words effect to our text layer. Then we're going to select it and from the top, select the rectangle tool. Go to the point where all of your text is visible and then zoom in to slowly cut out the section that you want the texture to affect, which in my case are going to be these two letters. Make sure your mask is only outlining the words that you want to select. Don't have it look something like this. And once that's done, we're going to duplicate our text layer by pressing Ctrl and D. And on the top one, we're going to press M and inside of the mask settings just invert it once. Now we can press Control Shift and E which will remove all of the effects and as you can see the animation will stay the same with the top row not having any effects and the bottom row having our texture. I also like to overlap these two a little bit so I'm going to select the layer with my texture which is the bottom one and then just drag that a bit up so we get this nice contrast. Don't forget to move the bottom layer up so it actually overlaps and now the last thing that's left to do is pre-composing them both together by selecting them, right clicking, going to pre-compose, enabling this bottom option and also this check mark and then pressing on OK. Once you pre-compose, the last step is going to be adding your final text effects, which are going to be Bevel Alpha, of course Deep Glow, and Drop Shadow. For the Deep Glow, put the exposure down to 0.1, and for the Drop Shadow, put the opacity to 100, and the softness to 15. Depending on which style you want to go for, I also recommend you add the S underscore Warp Chroma effect, and instead of here, put the Warp amount from 0.5 down to 0.1. If you now want to make any changes to your text, just double click onto the pre-composition, and as you can see, you will get access to both of the text layers, so if at any point you want to maybe change the font, you can just select it from here, and then select 
select a different style. Once you're satisfied with your text, the last and most important step is gonna be adding a good color correction. And if you don't wanna get my exact color correction I use to make my edits look the best as possible, make sure you check the first link in the description because I'm still running a huge sale in my shop. You can save up to 70% of my presets, texts, and project files for a limited time only. So if you wanna go viral, don't miss out and check the first link in the description. With that being said, make sure you like and subscribe, it would really make my day. Also watch this video next if you wanna learn some more cool text animations. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.